If you look carefully, there's gonna be two holes for this particular guy I got from Pornbot. There's two holes, two holes. Uh, there's a recessed hole here. So this is gonna be the top, and this is gonna be the bottom. But we're gonna flip it around. Um, the extra holes are for your ground wires and whatnot. So I'm gonna align this somewhere in the middle like that. And let's go ahead and clean it with some alcohol first. Sorry for the background noise. My rat rig is running in this room along with my boron. My rat rig is running pretty fast. It's running good, it's just really loud. So once you clean it off with some alcohol, I'm just gonna align it here. I'm gonna take a little bit off the top, okay? And I'm gonna fold it a little bit like that. I'm just gonna align it best as I can uh, towards the center. Good. Okay. I'll let that go. Slowly take this out. And you'll need a, like a thing like this. What do you call this? Just wipe it down slowly. Pull, wipe 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 down slowly. Oh, right down. And you should have your heat bed here. Now, this is one of the parts in Formbot kits I do recommend. No, not. This works fine. Actually, the bed isn't the most slowest thing to heat up. It's actually the hot end. I feel like my Rat Rig Rapido, uh, Fetus Rapido heats up so quickly compared to my Borons. Um, you will also need to attach. A ground wire for form bot. You should have a bed. Pete. Pete. Wagyu 415. I think you can use this guy. Um, you can use one of these holes here. I think it's threaded. Grab a M3 by 8. I think it fits. Just make sure it fits. It's an M3. Yeah, that should be it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and fit this. Uh, make it come out towards the back. Or sort of towards the center so you can get it together with the other holes. But this is basically going to be your ground. Uh, it's going to ground your heat bed. Okay, just make sure that's nicely tight in there. So there we go. You have all the wires that you need from the heat bed. Uh, including a ground wire so your bed is grounded. Hi guys, in this next step we need to put the fuse in here. Um, so we're gonna have to kind of shorten it a little bit, cut it and solder it. So I'm gonna try to cut it right about here. Alright, just one of the heat bed wires will do. Doesn't have to be which one. I'm also gonna go ahead and cut this a little bit because it's a little too long. Alright, what this will do is if this is 125 uh, degree Celsius fuse. So if it goes over, um, let's say you have a thermal meltdown where the heater doesn't stop, uh, you have that wire wrong, it will prevent um, starting a fire. Make sure you have a heat shrink, all right, to keep everything nice and tidy. Okay, I got that soldered in nicely. It's not coming off. I'm going to go ahead and wire the other piece um, to continue the process.
Let's put this guy on first. So let me go ahead and clean it off. Just wipe it off real nice with some alcohol. Quick. Pull it. And just align. Align nicely. The corners. Slightly off. Should be fine. And I'm gonna go ahead and use it. It's a little misaligned here, but it's okay, it's not gonna affect. I'm gonna go ahead and just drill the holes where the screws will be coming out. So I should have four holes here, and I'm gonna go ahead and grab a knife, some sharp knife. Okay, once that's done, let's go ahead and grab our frame again. You gotta make sure the holes in the back, that's the back of the printer. You're gonna need some M3 T-nuts, four of them. You're gonna place four of them um, somewhere around in the two. Grab the four thumbtack screws. Also, M four M316s. You're gonna line them like this. Just put them through. They just go through because uh, they're supposed to. Okay, go ahead and insert all the wires through this little hole here. Yes, down the hole. Down the hole you go. Okay, push them all the way to the bottom. Okay, somewhat. Later you can pull a little bit more. Okay, they're all pushed in somewhat. And now you're gonna go ahead and... This is actually different from my previous setup. So you're gonna undo the thumbtacks and align them from the bottom, from the top, I guess. This is actually a little weirder. Okay, make sure you can move, move it around. And I'm gonna go ahead and also do it for the front. So this one's slightly different from previous where you stick it in. You're gonna have to align this in there, oops. And just move your T-nuts. Just get it in there. Tighten it all the way and then loosen a little bit so you can move it around. Anything over here. Um, you might have... My last kit came with an opening so you didn't have to do it this way. But you can do that this way also. Okay, tighten it all the way and then loosen it a little bit. Now you should be able to move the bed. Now align it so from this end to here is 38 millimeters. Okay, pull on a little bit. It's at 40. Now it's at 39. bit more 38 that's 38 and also on this side I'm gonna go ahead and tighten this just a tiny bit I'm gonna adjust this back a little bit which is 38 yep, that's 38 Let me tighten the back over here. Now don't tighten don't tight them too much. For all of them, the Voron documentation says to only tighten, oh, that's magnetic, uh, one of them, so I'll 
tie this back kind of tight. All these other ones, I'm gonna go ahead and just hand tight, not too tight. It's really nice. Just visually say if it's square, it's nice and square. Um, flip it on the back. And you'll see a bunch of wires. Just make sure you pull all the wires back. Pretty good. Okay. Okay, they're all nicely packed. And for right now, I'm not going to use this. Uh, I don't want it to flip around, so I'm just going to zip tie it real quick to anything that I can. I don't want it to destroy itself. So let me just zip tie it away. And later when I need to use it, I can untie it. I'm just going to stick this. Ah. Okay, just stick it stick it back in this hole here for now i don't need it i don't want it to like get caught on something so leave that alone we're good to go um nice. the bed is ready uh we need to install the ab drive and all the yada 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 and it should look like this when you're done And you should be done with your Voron uh, at this step. Frame and bed done. Uh, let's go to the next step.